Hello friends, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can lock the DPS server using SSH keys. Okay, so right now anyone can uh, log in who is user here can log in. So for example, as a root user, we can say SSH uh, root and we can log in through the SSH here because when I created the server, I have used the SSH keys. So and just we need to add the passphrase and we are logged in. Oh, of course we can log. So let's log out and we can log in as a user with a password. So let's say SSH and the user, which is Tony, and we can add the password for Tony. Okay. So I'm logged in and let's unzip. And here I am in the terminal in my local machine. Now, uh, first I'm going to show you how to generate the SSH keys and then I'm going to copy the SSH keys in our uh, VPS server. Okay. So to generate the SSH keys, what we need is to open the terminal inside the local machine. And here we can run the command SSH keygen. And I'm going to use a dash T flag and RSA and hit enter. Now, as you can see, I am in the tilde uh, directory, but if you want, you can create a directory in the anywhere and in that directory, you can add that, but I'm going to add in the default one. So if I hit enter now, it's going to so enter file in which to save the key and it's going to add in the users, Tony and .ssh folder. And the name is going to be ID underscore RSA, but if you, if you have a file, it's going to, you can name it here, what you like. I'm going to leave as it is. And here we have prompt to enter a passphrase. And if you don't want, you can hit enter, but it's uh, good to have a passphrase for a security reason. So let's add your first phrase here and then hit enter. Enter the same passphrase again. So type again the fast phrase you entered and now hit enter again. And as you can see, your identification has been saved in uh, .ssh id underscore rsa public key has been saved in that directory which with the name id underscore rsa dot pub. Okay, let's clean this. And now uh, we need to copy the public key to the server and on local machine here, I'm. I'm going to say ssh dash copy the ID and I'm going to copy to Tony at or your user at and the, your IP address. Okay, so this is the IP address and I'm going to hit enter now. Okay, now we need to add the password for Tony. and hit enter. Okay, so now try logging into the machine with the SSH and check to make sure that only the keys you wanted were added. So let's, uh, I'm going to open the new tab here and I'm going to say SSH, uh, Tony and the IP address, hit enter. As we can see now, is going to say enter a fast phrase, not enter the password. So if we type the fast phrase, that fast phrase we when uh, we added when we created the SSH keys, okay? Add the fast phrase, and after adding the fast phrase, hit enter, and we are logged in as we can see here. Okay, if I uh, log out and try again, yeah, we need to add the fast phrase, and we are logged in. Very good. Now let's uh, list all the files with the uh, permissions. So I'm going to say ls-la. And as we can see, we have here .ssh, which is a directory because we have here D up here. Now let's cd in that. So cd in the .ssh. And if I say ls-la here, as we can see, we have authorized keys. So we are okay, but the uh, people also uh, can log in, the users who are here can log in with password and also the root user can, lo can uh, log in. And I want to stop that. So let's cd 
here. I am in the tilde, so if I say PWD, we are in the home Tony. And what I want to do is to navigate in the slash etc slash SSH directory. Okay, if I say ls la here. Okay, so we have a bunch of files and I want to modify this sshd underscore config. For a security reason, I'm going to create a copy of this just to have there. And as you can see, this uh, file has a read write for the root user, a read for the root group and a read for others. But to modify, we need to use a uh, sudo. So first I'm going to create a copy and I'm going to say sudo cp copy and the name of the file, which is sshd underscore config. And I'm going to create a copy to sshd underscore config dot and I'm going to say this tip. For distribution, we have d here, but I want, I prefer to create my own and we need to add the password for the because we uh, execute this command as a sudo here. So we need to add a sudo password for Tony and let's do that. Hit enter and now we are okay. So let's uh, edit the sssd underscore config file using the vim. So I'm going to say sudo y and the name of the file, so SSH D underscore config, hit enter. Okay, and here uh, we need to find the password authentication and modify that, and also the root login, permit root login. And in the Vim, we can uh, search by saying uh, colon slash and passing the name, and I'm going to say uh, password with capital P, password authentication or just out and if i hit enter here yeah as you can see here we are in the password authentication and we have a hash which is uh commented but i want to remove that so i'm going to say i the insert and let's remove the hash now we have password authentication to yes but i want to change that the password authentication to no so it's not going to allow the the login with the password okay and next thing is what they say escape and also colon slash and i'm going to look for the permit root login so let's say permit root login and hit enter okay so here we are uh, permit root login and let's change that to yes the no sorry hit i for insert mode and change that to no escape and now we need to save this so we need to say colon okay type colon in your uh, keyboard w and q to quit so say uh modify and quit right and quit and hit enter and now we are okay so just clean this and now uh, we need to uh, restart the ss edge and we can do that using the sudo systemctl and we don't have cover that systemctl but anyway don't worry so let's say sudo systemctl and we need to restart the ssh like this so sudo systemctl restart ssh okay and hit enter and now to test this i'm going to open a new tab in our terminal and i think we have one more here so i'm going to close this i'm going to open a new tab and see if we can log in with the password or not or with the root user or not okay so first i'm going to say ssh root user and hit enter cut the passphrase and as you can see yeah, permission denied for the public key but I have the public key but it's not uh, going to allow the root user to log in let's test with uh, Tony now if I say SSH not as a root user but as Tony user 
hit enter. Now, if we type the Korea passphrase, it's going to log if because we are as a user, not as a root. Okay, friends, so that's it. What I wanted to show you in this video to uh, log to the VPS server using the SSH keys and also prevent the root from logging and also from users to login with passwords. Only the user, this one who has the current SSH keys can be can log in in our uh, VPS account and uh, that's it for this video now if you like such a video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best and thank you very much friends